In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a beauty flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. You may want to download it and try it out and in case you do and you want to send it for review you can hit me up on instagram twitter or tiktok now let's get into photoshop i'll be using photoshop 2021 for this particular video but it should work with any version that you're using first things first we are going to create a canvas to do that you press ctrl n and then it will open the new for you now you're going to put in your dimensions but for the sake of this video we are going to use a 4x4 four four inch. So you go to your preset details and then you are going to select inches and then you can put 4 here and then 4 for the height as well. Now I can go to my resolution and I want to make it 300 so that it comes out very highly resoluted. After that you go ahead and you click on create. Now you're going to have something like this. The first thing we want to do is we want to add a rectangle. To do that you go into the two panel and then you are going to select your rectangle. So you left click and then you click on rectangle two. Now you're going to left click from this point and then you can drag it in till it reaches the part that you want. That is how you can create a rectangle. So after it reaches the part that you want, you can remove your hand from the mouse or your tablet and then it is going to create a rectangle for you. Now it's time to change the rectangle. To do that, we can double click on the layer thumbnail over here. So you double click on that and then it opens the color picker or the color palette for you. Now you can choose any color of your choice, but for this video, we are going to use this particular color. The hex code is right over here in case you want to use the same thing. After you've chosen your color, you go ahead and then you click OK. Now I want to choose our move tool and we can push this up a little. It depends on how you want to do it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background to this rectangle. To do that, you go to file, place embedded, and then you can locate where your resources or your images are. So in this case, I have it in the nails resources and then I'm going to choose the background that I want to use. So in the first place, I'm going to use this particular picture over here. I got many of these pictures from Pinterest. So you double click on the image and then it is going to open in your canvas for you. Now you're going to take your time and then you can open it up. You can as well zoom out and then transform it neatly to the part that you want. And then I'm going to right click on that I'll go to create clipping mask so that it is going to be embedded straight into the rectangle. Now I'm going to right click and rasterize this layer and then I'll hold alt shift and then U to desaturate this image. After that, I'll go and select my blend mode over here and then I'm going to set this to a blend mode of my choice. In my case, I'm going to choose soft light and then I'll click OK. Now on top of this, we can begin by adding the name of the shop or your business. So in this case, we are going to use the name Nail Galore. So we are going to select our test tool and left click to create a test and then we can type in our test. So we are going to use a font called Lovera Personal Use. I'm going to leave links in the description if you want to download this font as well. So you are going to select that and then you can press Ctrl T and then you can transform the name like that. You realize that there is a lot of space between these two. So we can select just this part. We open our toggle character over here and then we can close it up like that. And then you can press Ctrl T to transform it some more if you want to. Now, after you've gotten the size that you want, you can press Ctrl A and then you can center it horizontally. And then you press Ctrl D to deselect. Now you take your time to position your test. Now we're going to right click on this, go to the blending options, and then we are going to add a gradient to this particular test. So you select your gradient over here, you click on the gradient bar, and then you can choose any gradient of your choice. So you can choose any one of these. And if it is your first time, you might probably not have some of these ones over there but you can choose any one of them. So this is the gradient that I went with. And you can have the colors over here if you want to use the same colors. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. After you apply this on the test, you go ahead and then you click OK. And then OK from here. Now you're going to choose OK one more time. It's OK. Next up, we're going to create a rounded rectangle where we're going to use it for the services. So you can zoom in some more like that. 
and then you are going to go to your rectangle over here but this time around you're going to right click so that it shows the other shapes that are embedded into this one so we are going to select the rounded rectangle over here and then just like we created the rectangle you can left click and hold and then you can create your rounded rectangle you go ahead press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered and then you can change the color from here as well so we double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then you can start giving it any color of your choice any color at all that works for you but in this case you are going to use this particular color because the test is going to be white so you go ahead and then you click ok now we want to type in services over here so you go for your test tool which is t shortcut so test tool and then you don't want to write directly into it as it's going to merge with the rounded rectangle but in case you want to do you can hold shift and then you start writing so we are going to type services over here all in small letters now we're going to press ctrl a to select all of that and then we are going to change the font to lovera personal use the same font that we used for this and then you can press ctrl t transform it very neatly and place it in the rounded rectangle so you can press ctrl a just to make sure that it is also in the middle and then you take your time to position it so we can open this rectangle a little bit like that so that we can type in the services over there now we go for our test tool and this time around you are not going to use lovera personal use you are going to use poppins my favorite so we choose poppins medium and then you can type in your services over there for this we are going to select all of it and make sure that it is centered or center aligned and then you can press ctrl t to transform it to the size that you want so you just take your time to do that afterwards you can position it in the middle and then you can drag it down slightly like this now it is time to add the images now to add our images we are going to select the first layer on top here so that the images all of them will be on top of the other layers so we are going to use rectangles to create these shapes and then these images and embed the images into the rectangles now you go for your rectangle tool so you select your rectangle tool over here and then you are going to create one big rectangle like something like this so you leave it over here and then just so the background is white so we can see we are just going to change this rectangle to a different color so that it can be different from the background so you double click on the layer thumbnail and you give it any color you don't have to worry about this because you are going to insert images which is going to cover the color so you click ok now you take your time to position this rectangle and we are going to make duplicate of these rectangles okay so you press ctrl t to make a duplicate you hold shift and then you can drag it to the right side like this you make sure that the spacing is okay and then you can press ctrl t and transform it now you hit enter and then you press ctrl j and then you can make one more duplicate like that you can hold ctrl and select the two rectangles that you just did press ctrl t and then you can transform them and then you are going to make one more duplicate so ctrl j to make a duplicate of the two and then you can drag it down like that you don't want to keep this in the rectangular shapes we want to make it quite like a square so you are going to select the other two rectangles press ctrl t and then you hold shift and then you can close it up like this to make it like a rectangle and then you can open it up so that it matches or it is on the same line with this first shape that you created now you can hit enter when you're done to even make it more nicer we are going to select this rectangle over here press ctrl t and then we can extend it slightly like that and hit enter we can then select this rectangle make a duplicate of it by pressing ctrl j and then we can transform or bring it down over here and then we can select this rectangle press ctrl t and then make sure that it is on the same line with the other this particular square over here and then we hit on enter so now we have in all six rectangles from here we can select the first rectangle and then hold shift to select the last rectangle and then we can press ctrl g to group that this is to make sure that all of them are in the same group and then we can press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered or you can even open and close it up if you want to so it all becomes one group so that you can easily open it up close it up or add any other thing that you want to add to it now it is time to insert the images to do this we are going to select the rectangles individually and then we are going to place the images in them this is going to be according to the number of images that you have so for the first one we will select this rectangle to easily select it you are going to place your cursor on it right click and then it is going to give you the rectangle number so this is rectangle number two you realize that it has selected over here now you go to file 
please embed it and then you can choose the image that you want to bring in the first image you are going to use is this particular image over here so you double click on that now it is going to open right on top of that rectangle you can then right click and then create a clipping mask so that it is going to be right inside of that particular rectangle you can then zoom out press ctrl t and then transform it neatly like that to the size that you want and then you take your time to position it make sure that all the edges are covering so that you don't see that red or the pinkish red background or color that we used for the rectangles so you can just take your time to play around with the positioning now you can right click rasterize and then you can apply a couple of things to it like levels ctrl plus l to add levels to it so you can open it up or you open the brightness and then you can close it up slightly or if you want to add more color to it you can press ctrl u to add saturation to it so something like this to add more color to it and after you've gotten what you want you go ahead and you click ok now we are going to select rectangle number two so we go to file place embedded and then we are going to select the next image so we are going to use or choose this image right over here and then you can right click create a clipping mask and then you place it inside the rectangle you zoom out press ctrl t and then you can transform it neatly like this you're going to select the next rectangle and you are going to repeat this process until you fill the entire rectangles with the images So now you've neatly placed all your images into the rectangle so you can now close the group over here and you realize that grouping saves you a lot of like timeline it saves you a lot of layers so underneath of this one we're going to create one more rectangle so you go for our rectangle over here and then choose our rectangle tool and then we can create another rectangle underneath like this so for this rectangle we are just going to maintain it at white press ctrl a to center it and then we are going to right click on it go to the blending options and then we are going to add a shadow to it this is just going to create an effect at the background since we have a white background and then we are placing like a white rectangle on it as well so you go to drop shadow and then you are going to drop a shadow a little bit of shadow onto it like that and then you can go ahead and click ok now it's up to you to take your time to position your rectangle but I feel like we don't have to make the background here also too white like that so let's go to the background add a solid color to it so a solid color over here and let's choose a color let's say somewhere around this area so that we don't have like a very plain white background and this even helps us see the drop shadow a little bit more so you can then go ahead and click ok the last thing we're going to add is the location and then the contact details so we will go back into the group you can choose to create any rectangle so a rounded rectangle will be fine or a rectangle as well will also be fine so we create a rectangle like this with this particular color right over here now you can guess where i chose this color from of course the nails over here so you go ahead and click ok and then you can add your contact details or any other details that you want over here now just make sure that these ones are in alignment so something like that and you hit enter the first one we're going to add is the contact details and the whatsapp number so you go to file place embedded and then you can add your icon so this is the call icon that i got from png wing you take your time to transform it and then you can position it right over here now black on coffee brown is not good so we are going to change this particular color to do that you right click on the layer you go to blending options and then you can give it a color so we are going to choose the color overlay over here and then we are going to leave it at white you click ok and then you can bring in the next icon so file again and then whatsapp icon so we are going to choose the whatsapp icon right over here that is also from png ring so you transform it and then you can give it a color as well but instead of going through that long process what you can do is you can hold alt drag the effects on this onto the whatsapp icon and then you're going to have the effect on it as well now you can select the two by holding ctrl press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that and then you can put your number next to it so you're going to select your test tool and then you're going to change your font type to let's say mr poppins 
and then you're going to change the color also over here so let's choose white for the color and then you can paste your number over there so breast control t transform it you can zoom out like that and then we are going to add our location to it so with that i'm going to create a rectangle over here a white rectangle so that means we will double click on the layer thumbnail over here and change the color to white and click ok and we'll go to file place embedded and then we are going to add a location icon so the location icon is right over here you take your time to transform it and then you can position it to any part that you want to and then i can hold alt drag my effects onto this and then it is going to change to white as well and then we can make a duplicate of our test so to do that we are going to select our test over here press ctrl j and then we will bring it on top of the rectangle 5 so that it is visible now we can double click on that change the color back to coffee brown or brown and then we can type in the location so the location is going to be k n u s t you can then go ahead and add your social media handles to it so we are going to bring both the icons in so the first one is going to be instagram so we go to file place embedded and then we can bring our instagram logo in there transform it and position it nicely and then of course we can hold alt and drag our fx on it next we're going to bring in the next icon which is snapchat and then we can drag our fx on it now we can just copy the knst kumasi drag it down and then we are going to change the color to white so you select it or change your color to white and then you click ok and then you can paste your instagram ids and then your snapchat ids over here so i'm quickly going to do that after that we're going to make one more duplicate drag it down here and then you change it to the snapchat handle and now we can select from the call icon here to the snapchat icon group that within the group and then you can call it say contact details so we can press ctrl t and then transform that alone and this is what we have in so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of effects to this so that it makes you know this ladies type of stuff so we go to file place embedded and then we are going to add an element or a design element to it this design element right over here and then we can position it over here press ctrl t and then you can transform it and then you make sure that it is not covering a lot of the test so wherever it is covering you can right click and then you can rasterize the layer and then you can go for something like your rectangular marquee to make selection of the parts that it is covering you hold shift to make more selections and then you can delete that like that you see it's not covering it anymore and now you can make one more duplicate ctrl j press ctrl t and then you can flip this horizontally so you press you hold shift and then you can drag it to the left side like that now you know i always show you how to make quick changes to the colors whenever i make designs like this so on top of the background image you can create a hue and saturation over there and then you can play around with the colors as well if any one of them is going to be but of course there are times it has to match with the images that you are using so in this case i didn't actually play around but just in case you have different images and you want to play around with the colors you can use the hue and saturation to do this but of course if you turn this one off this is what you are having what do you think about this design let me know your thoughts in the comment section and let me know if this was helpful and in case this was helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very much amazing don't forget that links to download the resources will be in the description you can just go and download them and practice and send it so that we can get in touch thank you for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye